What do you got me watching? Tired of waiting to see the next episode reaction? Why not join the Patreon? You can gain access to reactions that have been uploaded weeks in advance before they land on YouTube. Most of all, you can watch the full length versions without the annoying copyright filter and subpar audio for just $5 a month. If you want to take your loyalty even further, you can watch our non-animated related reactions as well as submit requests for just $10 a month. So stay ahead of the curve and help us sustain the brand. Thank, Thank you. you. What's going on you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here with my girlfriend Johnny Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen It Reactions, the place where we react to everything that we ain't never seen. And today we are getting our training on, getting our sparring on, getting ready to pack some top ramen up because Baki Hama is in this house, you know what I'm saying? And he's going into the big house. You know what I'm saying? The the, the slammer. The slammer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hopefully he don't drop the soap and he keeps some soap on a rope, man. But yeah, man, it's getting to that point to where Baki is pre preparing his mind and his body by training with these little people that he's manifested like strictly off of shadow boxing, which is kind of something that he did in like the earlier anime, if you guys remember from 2001, when he was getting ready to fight Red Tsukayo and uh, I think somebody else too. But yeah, he was fighting up in the parking lot and he was acting like he was getting hit and shit. And basically, he manifested the opponent that he was about to face already. So he knew all the moves and stuff. And that's how he was able to beat him. So it's cool to see that. The only thing that I have a problem with seeing is this little kid. You know what I'm saying? Now, he doesn't really give anything other than just observing Baki and showing how he's just wowed by this Japanese guy who's short in stature, but he just shows why he's the strongest guy in that town right now. I thought what did, they were all in Japan. They, they, well, not everybody's in Japan. Like, Yujiro I mean, like, is kind of like a globe trotter. You know, he goes where the fights are. Yeah, so. I mean, like, I thought, like, never mind. Anyway. Yeah, Baki's the strongest guy in Japan right now. Yeah, I know. Like, he won a tournament. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, what did you think about that, though? I mean, I thought it was pretty good, you know? I was like, he over here getting beat up by shadow people. He might need to want to go ahead and get that checked out. But, you know, if that's <laughs> what he got to do to win fights, do what you got to do, bro. Fulfill your dream. You know what I'm saying? The kids were sitting up there pretending like lemons and berries was in their mouth. Talking about soup. So right. sour and whatnot. That was a little weird. But, you know, hey, it is what but it I is. I say, the way they explain shit is so trippy and absurd, man. It's like, you just it go is. <laughs> It is. That's one thing about this show. It's like, that don't make no God damn. Yeah, okay. because I, like I think the illustrator and a uh, writer of this, like he has just gone so far and above just to give you all the different explanations that he's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna throw this up in here. It's like, yeah, I'm right? not gonna, it's I can like, mix stuff. It's not gonna make any sense, but here it go, and I'm like, oh, okay. I'll Right, right, yeah, but I, I dig it though, man. At least the pacing's good, and at least they actually make I'm it entertaining. I'm ready for him to show up in the pen. I am too, man. I'm ready to see that fight. So we're not gonna waste any more time, man. We enjoyed the last episode, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna enjoy this one. So let's see how well TMS has adapted this. Okay, we're going back to his crib. I know you remember this. That place with the random door on it. It's like, no, it's like his little neighborhood where all the different gangs just wrote how they want to kill him and stuff. All graffiti all over the walls. It's kind of weird that that police officer they used to kind of watch Yeah, that's him. the place I meant. Yeah. It's weird that that police officer just disappeared from the series, though. They never explained why, I don't think. They do. Shit, that's a pretty, pretty, pretty neat place right there. Look like, girl, you put a black light up to that place. You see how Baki been getting down as of late. What's the last season? What's the previous season? You'll understand. I don't think I want to understand that. Like Baki got him a new girlfriend now. And he got a new one. Well, it's the same one. Mm -hmm. Pectorals. <laughs> I thought he was gonna like offer the kids some food. Like, hey, kid, you want some food? <laughs> now he's gonna show him this his ultimate opponent, man. You done ate dinner. His ultimate sparring partner. Himself. No. Nah. Oh, I thought that was a mirror. Mm -mm. It's like an episode of Fear Factor. 
that damn grasshopper that he put in the box. <laughs> uh, it wasn't a grasshopper. A flea. Mm-mm. A mantis. There you That's go. what that was. That wasn't a damn grasshopper. <laughs> A CG mantis. I'm not gonna lie to you. If I was this kid, I would think Baki really needed. It's like, man, what kind of crack is Baki on, and where can I get some? No, I don't want none of that. Please, no. That's why this nigga so strong, man. He on that good bag. Exactly, man. You know the praying mantis. The hug of death. Boy, he was like, he was trying to get that damn thing to business. I know, right? I remember I prayed Mantis giving the lizard the business one time in this video I saw on YouTube. <laughs> I had to use a different tactic than that. This series need to be called Drugs. <laughs> I love it, man. It's like, I knew it was going to get crazy, man. Because, like, I remember reading this shit and just being like, what? Huh? I understand real people visualizing them, but... No, it ain't. This dude... You know what this reminds me of? What? Patrick... Getting beat up by Spongebob and Spongebob had never even touched him. Oh, to my Patrick uh, Star? Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, a little Eddie Gordo with it. <laughs> Bring it around town. Bring it around town. I began doing the same drugs as Baki, and now I can see what he saw. <laughs> what, you what do you got me watching? It's always the awkward episodes anytime I get you into something, ain't it? It always is. <laughs> he can't find a weak spot for nothing. Pull off his leg. Pull off one of its antennas. Y'all just eye out. Eat it. Just imagine an actual sane person just walking down there and be like, what? He just turned right back around. like oh, I, Exactly. That's exactly what I would do. I just walk down there. And I'm not all that sane. But I'd be like, um, <laughs> this ain't my party. <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> Look at this dude. He done destroyed his own place. He's like, well, I win. That poor grasshopper don't know what in the hell is going on. This is not normal, child. He don't. <laughs> stay in school. Don't do drugs. Stay down, Baki. Throw in the towel. <laughs> And this, my people, is why you don't see Baki with his girlfriend anymore. He could have lost his girlfriend to Muhammad Ali Jr. just by doing that shit right there. Right. Muhammad Ali Jr. didn't even have to try to fight him. I mean, Baki had already left his imprint on that chick. Yeah, you're right. Women be staying with men who be doing some crazy things. 
That's why you're with me. Do you want a kiss? I do. Right. You can see like everywhere. <laughs> right, like nigga. I think if somebody even used a technique like that in this show where their eyes are just going all over the place looking crazy. I think I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah, the bald head guy that was fighting his dad. Mm-hmm. His dad took out his eye and shit and almost killed him into the weird girly looking doctor brought him back to life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, you remember. Yeah, that's the soft spot. Mm-hmm. I'll take on that funky stance. Please give it a try. Please. Put this thing out of its misery. Oh. Damn. Long, long time ago, I, Aku, fought the evil human known as Samurai Jack. What was you just talking about? Huh? You just was like, a mantis can turn a wing off a bird. And now there's a damn mantis and his bird is Right. <laughs> the man was like, you want some too? I would turn around if I was you. Unhand me! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mantis fist. I feel like I was in school repeating a word. He be looking real. I'm gonna be doing that in my box of draws later on. And I'm gonna be outside in my vehicle burning off. <laughs> I'ma even say it. Total kin. It's like they got tired of fighting themselves, so they had to fight animals too. That's just how it is. So that dope overcame so famous. Had to fight a Siberian tiger. got this po baby cowering in fear <laughs> right? from an invisible bug. Get out the way, room. You gotta finish this CGI bastard. Mm. Boy, it's funny how we watched the whole episode of this nigga fighting an imaginary insect. I knew, I, I told you it was going to get crazy then. Mm. Yes, 
That jump looks so <laughs> Ray looks thank you. Well, we got this though. He got this. He's calculated and precise with it now. He knows. Really? I don't remember all that happening. Really, Baki? <laughs> That's Mantis from Kung Fu Panther. Kung Fu Panda. I mean, what is it, Panther or Panda? I mean, he's a panda bear, so. Panther. Got the bootleg. Right. All right, guys, that was episode two, Mixed Species Martial Arts. That was a very, very interesting episode, to a say the least. A very cocaine, LSD, and PCP-infused <laughs> episode of Baki today. I love it, man. I love it. I, I knew you was going to get, you know, you were going to be able to I was just confused. like, at the, at, at the end, I was just like, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy, man. But I like that because it just shows you all the different levels and techniques that these people can learn based off of different other species, you know, observations. Because a mantis really doesn't have that many weak points as is since it can see like in different directions. And it's basically in um, like an exoskeletal type, you know, insect. You know, it's very hard all over. Yeah, um, so you can't I, approach it like a human. I get the point. The point, like you said, it, it even though it's ridiculous, it does make sense. So it's like when you're looking at it, it's like this nigga's fighting air. But right at the root of it, you get what it's trying to convey. So I'm like, okay, I can deal with it. So you know, it wasn't that bad. Um, it was just really, you know, just a lot of a lot of drugs. Yeah, like yeah, it's one of those crazy things that I even joked about, like on the trailer for it, like when um TMS up uploaded the trailer, I was like, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of crazy shit up in this one. But hey, I'm man. here for it. I was ready for the pen, and it looked like the pen. Uh, this look like this is a little bit worse than what might be happening in the pen and he doing this to himself right i think this is the last one featuring the kid though i think we're gonna actually start progressing yeah, it need to be because they need to let that kid go back home to his family where is its family they ain't looking for him right did he got nowhere to be like he ain't got no home or he's, he's an like orphan? you locked up in this room with this in crazy a dude basement with a crazy nigga <laughs> fighting air talking about it's a mantis Right, it's like if he goes and tells his parents his story, they're gonna ask him to pee in his cup and let's go to the doctor because we need to figure out what you've been smoking. Hey, I'm like, just don't do drugs, kids. Stop it. Get right. some help. It's like put the winners don't do drugs logo from the arcade games up there, like before this right? episode starts. <laughs> like that is hilarious to me. It's like I'm not even, and I'm not even like trying to speak negatively about it. It's just that's just what this looks yeah, like. Yeah, it, it's fun though, man. I love it though. I love the creativity because if you're gonna Very do something creative. crazy, at least explain it out. It's like we watch crazy shit like JoJo. Yeah, and there's stuff. no explanation behind why these people can do what they do. Right, a little baby can possess a stand and be evil as a mofo. So. So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, the this, at continues. least I will say it's ridiculous as hell, but at least they have an explanation for what the hell is going on. That is right. one thing I can appreciate about this show. Like this creator, he's just, oh, okay, I'm going to use that and just throw it at him, you know? Oh, it's like there it. are so many crazy enemies that they have just transcended humanity. I always he's thought sick. the naked black dude was something else until I I mean he him. was it's like technically he was like the strongest fighter like when Yujiro was younger and still like a little wet behind the ears when they first encountered each other Yujiro knew that that guy was stronger than him it's like this guy would just get thrown on the battlefield to do like you know wet 
you know, wet jobs. You know, not wet jobs, but what do they call that shit? Wet jobs? No, wet jobs. needs me one of them. Wet works or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He'll, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, the government will just send him on these little suicide missions. He didn't have nothing but his body, and he'll just be punching mofos. Yeah. Uh, so, it, you know, it, it is what it is, you know? But now Yujiro has become the man. And Baki needs to beat Yujiro's number two so he can be number two and go up against number one. Kind of like on Oh, he's not number two yet? He ain't number two yet. He ain't the shit yet. Oh, okay. So the naked dude is still number two. Yeah. Oh, basically. Okay. So we going to get there, man. You know, Baki, he going to get there eventually. We going to see how that unfold. I need you to cosplay as uh, Olive. Olive? Yep. Olive or whatever. I need you to cosplay as him. Yeah. I mean, hopefully I can. I have to get on some steroids for Oh, never mind. You ain't got to do that. Yeah. No, I like you just like you are. Just get you some draws like him. What would you give this episode? I give it a... I give it a D for drugs. No, I'm (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just hit this one up with a... a, B minus or something? Yeah, B minus. Okay, since I am like an enthusiast of this series of Baki and I actually read this one, I'm going to give it an A plus because it's something that I want to see translated in the animation mm-hmm. for so long. Like, we're talking like at least 10 years because that's when I read this, I think. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it's, it's well, man, we were struggling, bro. Struggling is great. <laughs> we were waiting. What it sound like? Like, it was like when they said they was coming out with a box. I don't, like, one thing I'll say, though, like the OVAs that they came out with, which is like special edition, I don't think the animation will ever reach that tier of, you know, quality. Oh, it was that good? Yes. I was thinking, oh, it's going to no, be like this. These are pretty great, especially when you're fighting. Yeah, these are good, animals. but the OAVs or the OVAs, whatever it's called, like it's on a whole nother oh, level. We're going to have to look at that because I got to see what other drugs they I mean, got. it's just like a compilation, though. It's not really like, oh, dialogue and stuff like that. You just see. It's on you. I'll show it to you on YouTube. Like It's oh, just okay. very brief. I think Never about mind. 10 minutes long or something. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Um, we will catch you guys on the next reaction to Baki Hanma. Peace.